Hello, Steve White Trek by 89 for Steve Bats 89, Star Trek's Gatekeeper. Now, um, I did a video the other day because I was so impressed with Entertainment Tonight. They did a segment on Nichelle Nichols as, you know, her career in Star Trek as a Hura, um, and working on NASA and everything for Black History Month, and they had Seneca Martin Green on, and it was a really great, it was like a five minute piece where they talked about her life and her career, and um, they had interviews from her, and um, they really managed to, to focus on the fact that she sacrificed her career on to some level to may, keep playing Uhura and maintain their representation on TV and all that because she realized how important it was. And it was just a really great tribute to her and I was really proud of them and I was like really happy and I did a video just to talk about how great it was that they did a five minute segment on a show on Nichols on the Entertainment Tonight for Black History Month. I thought it was great. But then pretty much in the same breath they go and do this. Um, to promote Star Trek Discovery the other night, um, it must have been last week's episode, a couple of days ago, um, they said, they were talking about, um, Cynic Martin Green being a captain, and they're saying she's not just the captain on Discovery tonight on Paramount Plus, she's the first black female captain one ever in the franchise. And they literally had on screen a picture of, um, Cynic Martin Green in the captain's chair, and it said, first black female captain. And I'm like, no! That's, that's, that, no! She... <laughs> That technically, Nichelle Nichols was the first black captain on Star Trek because she was acting captain on an episode of Star Trek The Animated Series in season, I think, two of um, The Animated Series. So, 1973 or 74, I'm not sure which season it fell in. Um, and then, like, ten years later, in Star Trek IV The Voyage Home, Madge Sinclair played a captain of a Starfleet vessel, the Saratoga. Um, and then, a couple of years later, on Star Trek The Next Generation, um, Ursuline Bryant played Captain Trila Scott in an episode of Next Generation. She was a captain as well. And, um, yeah, I mean, she wasn't the first black captain. And, oh, um, Madge Sinclair played another black captain, female captain again. She played Geordie LaForge's mother, who was also a Star Starfleet captain in The Next Generation. So she did it twice, and she still is not being acknowledged for it. Um, I mean... If you want to consider, like, an actual active captain with their own ship as the first captain, then Nichelle wasn't the first because she was the acting captain. But Madge Sinclair certainly was. She had her own ship. She had her own scenes. Um, and they just ignore this. And it's so frustrating because, I mean, it's like being the first black female lead of a Star Trek series is enough, of an action series is enough. You don't need to go taking other people's accomplishments, um, you know, being the first black captain, which first black captain in a Star Trek movie, first black captain on a Star Trek show. Um, those those were other people's achievements, not yours. Now, I haven't seen Sonequa um, sort of take these on herself, but other people keep saying them around her, or her, her PR people, you know, Entertainment Night, people like that say this, and she's not correcting them. She's not saying, uh, no, no, I wasn't the first black captain, That that's Madge Sinclair, uh, and she should be giving her a tribute and respecting her and saying, no, Madge Sinclair was the first black captain on Star Trek. I'm the first black captain with my own show. I'm the first black female lead of, you know, a Star Trek show, and I'm the captain. But she wasn't the captain until the fourth year of the show. She was the first, she was the lead, but she wasn't the captain until the fourth season. So, and that was in a whole other um, century from the other century canonically. So... In no way was she in any way the first black captain. But yet they keep insisting that she is because that's that's the message they want to put out. Watch our show, it's so progressive. And I'm like, it's such an insult to Star Trek and all the people who wrote the shows and worked on the shows and acted in the shows like 20, 30, 40 years ago who were representat representating black women as captains. And the idea that Star Trek is, wasn't that progressive, and oh, now it is, but before it was all backwards because they didn't have any black female captains. Yes, they did. They did. I watched them on TV, and I didn't think anything about it, because why wouldn't a black woman be, be a captain of a starship in the future? I mean, for them to, like, take that away and act like, oh, Starfleet was really behind, or the shows were, weren't progressive, but now we are? It's like they're trying to take other people's achievements and trying to get credit they don't deserve. Now, I'm not trying to take anything away from Seneca being the first black female lead of a Star Trek series and an action series, and, you know, to be a captain as well. But she wasn't the first captain in the show and they need to stop saying that because it's just not right and it's not fair and I just really 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 want someone to stand up for Madge Sinclair because she was the first and she's not getting the recognition she deserves I'm sure she's a big lady I'm sure she you know she's up in heaven she's not bothered she's fine but I'm not fine with this I'm not happy with it 
Um, and I'm going to complain until someone says, someone acknowledges this woman for her role. And, and it'd really be nice if it was Sonequa. I've, I've messaged her, trying to get her attention, um, but she's never going to, you know, answer a fan. So, yeah, I just, I mean, can someone tell this woman, you're not the first captain, stop saying it, you're embarrassing yourself, you're insulting fans who, who watch the show and know that that's not true, and you're taking away some, an achievement from this woman who deserves, who deserves the, 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 the credit for it and the attention. It's, it's, oh, see, every time I talk about it, it really annoys me. And I'm sure Sonic was a wonderful person. Maybe she doesn't even know about Star Trek IV, but someone needs to tell her. Please. I'm going to go. Feel free to share, like, comment, subscribe, and message Sonequa about this. Uh, I'm going to go.